Yeah. Uh, I first came to Glastonbury in 1971. I ran away from school. Uh, my parents didn't know where I was, which made it all the more exciting. And uh, it was the first really big Glastonbury 71. By big, I mean 10,000 people. So we were all camped up above the pyramid, all in one place. It felt very, very together. And uh, making the film, I really, really saw the subject of the film being more about the change in people's attitudes to themselves. Because we walked in in 71 in jeans and bare feet. And then in 2005, I was filming people wheeling in washing machines and, um, you know, hair dryers and uh, fridges and the whole of their houses seemed to be coming in. So it seemed that we kind of evolved as a species in a very strange way. Uh, but that first year, I was uh, lucky enough to see some amazing music too. Traffic were incredible. And the highlight really was this unknown character who was due to come on and um, no one knew who he was, so no one gave a shit. But eventually everything was pushed back and back, but he came on at dawn, basically four or five in the morning. And uh, we were all asleep in the tents and these guys were running around slapping our faces saying, wake up, wake up, you've got to see this guy. And uh, you know, we woke up and the dawn chorus was going, there was this guy with a dress and a guitar. Uh, and the difference being that, that guy with the dress and the guitar, it was David Bowie. And it was really like a moment where people understood how great Bowie was. And um, I think Glastonbury's done that again and again, but that was probably the first time it happened here. And uh, I've been coming ever since.